Hey Threadhead, it's Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up a little jig pattern. This one's called the Lunar Warrior. And it's loosely based on Lance Egan's Rainbow Warrior. This one's got a bit of a silver theme going with it. I've got a little bit of holographic flash for the body. And of course you can change the colors up of that. And um, a silver bead. You can tie that either in tungsten or brass. Today we're going to be tying this one in tungsten. And a little bit of accent flash. And I think this one's going to do really well. I've changed this pattern up a few times. Added a bit of contrast with a darker rib. Uh, my original had a silver in there. And a silver holographic dubbing. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And I'll get your name entered into the next draw for stickers, fly tying materials, and some of the flies we tie. Alright, let's have a look at the material list and get started. All right, so let's get a fresh hook into the vise. We're going to start off with a fire hole 516 and a 3.2 millimeter silver uh, tungsten bead. We'll slip that onto our hook and then we'll get that fresh hook into the vise. So first we're going to add some thread to this fly. We're going to be using some white 70D UTC. Uh, if you have don't have white, you can use another light color. And we'll just start this behind the bead. We'll wrap towards the bend of the hook. Snap off that tag end. And we don't want to go into the curve, because that'll tend to push the tail fibers down. So we're going to take a couple fibers off of this Coq de Leon uh, feather. This comes off a whiting saddle. And we'll take a bit of a long length. We want around a hook length, maybe a little bit shorter. We just want to try and make sure that we keep those fibers right on top of the hook shank as best we can. So I like to just kind of press it with my finger in behind just to push all those fibers, um, keep them up on top and prevent them from rolling around to the side. Next, we're going to take a little bit of black ultra wire, just using a small. Make sure you cut with the back of your scissors there. And we'll kind of tuck that in behind the bead a little bit. And then we'll tie that down the length of the hook shank. I should have mentioned if you want to, you can add a little bit of weight on there before you start wrapping on your body materials. Next, we're going to take a little piece of silver holographic flash or mylar tinsel and again we'll wrap this along the side of the hook shank and we'll wrap everything together just so that we got a nice even body we've got no bumps no lumps and we'll take that back just past the point of the hook and then we'll wrap our thread back up in behind the bead and let it sit there now we're going to Kind of pull this tinsel a little bit, give it a little bit of a, a pull just to kind of take some of the kink out of that once we fold it over. And then we're just going to roll that up. We want to do overlapping turns just so that we've got full coverage over the full length of the hook shank. If you want, you can add a little dab of head cement or glue underneath just to give that fly a little bit extra durability. We'll snip that off behind the bead. Next we're going to add our rib. This gives a nice contrast to the otherwise pretty bright fly. Let's give a little bit of segmentation and a little bit of contrast there. We'll take up four or five ribs up the fly. We'll tie that off right behind the bead as well. just want to make sure we go on both sides of that wire before we take it off just to make sure it's secure we'll give that a bit of tension give it a few wiggles to helicopter it off we're good to go 
So the last thing we're going to add to this fly is the little bit of flash. And for this one, I've tried a number of different colors and we're going to go with the pearl on this. I've also tied this with uh, holographic silver uh, ice stub and it looks pretty good, but I think it's just a little bit too much in the silver. So we're going to use this pearl. It's got a nice uh, UV element to it. So I like this for finishing flies and just for a little bit of accent. Just a thin noodle. We'll dub that in tight into the bead. And we're going to just finish the fly off with a couple whip finishes. I want to try and tuck that whip finish in under the dubbing if we can. Just make sure that's tucked in there. That looks pretty good. We'll just give that a quick little snip and this one's ready for the box. You can go ahead and clean up a couple of those errant fibers that are sitting around but uh, as you fish this a lot of those fibers are going to get pulled out anyways so um, a lot of people say that it fishes better even after some of those fibers get pulled out so if you don't want to spend the time to clean it up I think you're good just throwing that one in your box. And there you go, there's the Lunar Warrior. Hope you give that one a try and uh, catch a few fish with it this season. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and checking out my Fly Time videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to show your support, hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks. I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vise. Cheers.